Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to see which rarity has the best brawler in Brawl Stars. Okay, so we're going to start off with, of course, the lowest rarity. And that is going to be, of course, Shelly. Her only rarity. And she's the starting brawler. And to be honest, Shelly is one of the best top 10 brawlers in Brawl Stars, in my opinion. She is so underrated. Like, let's look at how she attacks. Like, and like, especially with her gadgets too, like this far range gadget, that's like actually insane. And like her super, don't even get me started. It does almost double the damage and it destroys everything. And, like, she can actually even beat most brawlers in a 1v1 that are way above her rarity. Okay. Next up, let's move on to our rare brawlers. Okay, so there are a lot of these brawlers. So, if you look at these brawlers, they're all actually very similar. So, let's first of all get to where all of the bad brawlers. Okay, for example, Barley... He's pretty underrated, but compared to brawlers like Rosa, he is trash. Okay, let's look at Brock. Brock is really good for long-range distances, but in 1v1s, Brock is completely useless, and you can't do anything with him. Poco is a great support brawler, but compared to the likes of Rosa... I'm sorry, Poco, you're gone. Okay, Colt is actually a very good brawler, but... I feel like Rosa's better in a bunch of bush scenarios. Okay, so let's try out po uh, Colt. Can I try it? Shh. Can I try it? Okay, so Colt, you can talk. So Colt is actually really good because, and then a super can annihilate someone in one hit. So let's go back to the super. Super, a super is really good in, like, cases where you're probably the only teammate. Yeah. Okay, so Colts is insane. Now let's try out Rosa. So these are, like, the top two brawlers in their league. Let's so try. Rosa is actually really good. And, like, she's a close-up brawler. So, like, in the bush scenario, she's really good. Like, for example, look at her gadget. See, you just saw what happened to the bush there. So, like, she actually can stun her enemies for a while. And then her super is absolutely insane. Just look at this. This is madness, chaos. And then her super regenerates after just barely any hits. Yeah, so that's, this is why Rosa's the best rare brawler. Okay, let's move on to our blue brawlers, or should I say our super rare brawlers. Okay, so these are the brawlers. We got Jesse, Dynamite, Take 8-Bit, Rico, Daryl, Penny, and not last but not least, Carl. Okay, so let's start off with our two throwers here. Throwers are great as support brawlers, but when you're comparing them as the best brawler, it's never ever going to be a thrower because they're support brawlers. They can never stand alone. Okay, so let's move on to our other ones. Rico, well, and Carl. Rico and Carl are an interesting case. These brawlers are can stand on their own, but they're also really low on health compared to the rest, except Penny. I'll explain the penny case later. And they're not that reliable compared to the rest of these. Okay, so as I was saying about Penny. Penny, the thing is, her super's actually great. Let me try and show her. Okay. Training ground. <laughs> okay. So, in the training grounds, let me charge up her super. Okay, so her super, so like, let's just place it right here. So as you can see, she has a really cool turret. And it actually has a lot of range. And with the gadget, it even lasts firepower. So that's why she's better than the rest, like a, some of the rest at least. But the only problem with her, she barely has any health. So it's kind of unreliable. Okay, 
So now we're going to move on to the last three remaining, Jesse, 8-Bit, and Daryl. Okay, let's start off with Daryl. Well, Daryl is a close-range brawler, as we all know, and his gadgets are actually really good, but they're not as good as the other brawler's gadgets. And even though he has a lot of health, his damage, it's just not comparable to so many other brawlers. Okay, let's move on to 8-Bit. 8-Bit is one of the best super rares, top two, obviously. So, their gadgets are not that great either. But, 8-Bit actually has a lot of health for its degree. And its super is pretty good. But, even though it's great, just compare it to Jessie. Like, this is insane. Her gadget, the Scrappy's attack speed is doubled for 5 seconds. That's just so much time. She needs a nerf. And, like, she can repair her gun turret for so much da damage. Like, oh, my gosh. Jesse, like, easily wins that. Like, everyone should have known that was coming. Okay, we got four more rarities left. Okay, let's move on to the epics. Okay, so Grob, he's a thrower, as I said. Throwers, they're good at support, but not real brawlers. B and um, Piper. And Stu, they are all mid-range to long-range brawlers, and they're also pretty good at supporting. So I wouldn't really say that they're worth a um, top brawler. Okay, Bo, in my opinion, is a great brawler, but I feel like M's is just way better than Bo. You know what I mean? Okay, and then Pam and Frank. Okay, this is actually a really good debate, so let's move on to see their star powers and gadgets. Okay, this one, doo -doo -doo, he can stun opponents for longer. And this one, it, it actually pulls their opponents towards them. That's really good. But I feel like Pam is definitely better because look at this gadget. She emits a healing that for 1,200 health to all of her allies. And then that's her best. And then Baba's hog is actually insane. Like, look at this. She can hit brawlers with Scrap Storm, which is her super, and she heals herself and all nearby um, enemies, I mean, bra friendly brawlers, for 48 health. That's insane. Like, just realize that. But Ebbs, we already know Ebbs. Like, she's insane. Like, Ebbs, she's a mid-range brawler, a long-range brawler, and a close-up brawler, and she's not that great close up, but with this gadget, she pushes enemies back, so it's mid-range for her. So that's like a free kill almost every time with Ebbs, unless you're going up against one of the best brawlers in the game. Okay, let's move on to Mythic Brawlers. So Gus and Mr. P and Byron and Sprout are actually all support brawlers, so we can eliminate those, as the strategy said. Max, she's a great brawler, super fast, but does she really do any damage? Okay, let's move on to the rest of the legendary brawlers. Okay, let's start off with Squeak. Squeak, he's a great brawler on the attack, but with the walls and obstacles, Squeak doesn't really know what he's doing, let's be honest. Okay, Jean, Tara, Mortis. These are the top three brawlers. Okay, Jean, she's sort of a support brawler, as you can see, so she doesn't count. Tara, she's actually a pretty good damage dealer, but I feel like Tara, she doesn't have much health, and she takes too long to reload. I feel like Mortis is by far the best mythic. He has great gadgets and star powers. Right, Adirud? Yeah. Yep. And also, uh, this is great. So next up, we got our legendaries. Okay, let's count the legendaries. One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight. Seven. Seven. So, it's Spike, Crow, Leon, Sandy, Amber, Meg, and Chester. Okay, I think for now, Chester's probably the best brawler just because he came out. But after he gets nerfed, we can start to see a digress. Okay, so let's start out with, of course, Chester. Okay, this brawler is insane right now because, number one, it has five supers. Like, are you kidding me? And with its gadget... Okay, so like, let's see the pattern. So one attack, two attacks, and then three attacks. And with its gadget, it'll even have four, but for now, we don't have that. Okay, so like, as you can see, the down arrow, that's one of its gadgets. I mean, supers. And then look, now, it's another super. 
And this one's the stun. And that's really good. Okay, so it automatically gave the down one again. So watch this. This is insane. Look at this. This is so satisfying. Okay, this time we have the bomb. Boom. Okay, this time we have the stun again. Uh, let me just do more damage to show you. Okay, look, this is a new super. Oh, wait, no, it's not. But, yeah, with its super, um, with its gadgets and star powers, it's actually insane. So, right now, Chester's the best, but soon it won't because of the nerfs that Brawlster will realize. Okay, so Sandy, she's a support brawler, doesn't count. Crow, he's an assassin, but I feel like, honestly, he's just like Byron. He's just decent, but he's not great compared to the rest. Man, she was really good right when she came out, but now with the nerf, she's just a decent brawler. Amber, same thing. Leon is actually really good. So, Leon, his attack, he's a super sneaky assassin. Literally, it even says assassin. So he could do, like, a bunch of things. He could even hide, but Spike, we already know. Like, let me just do this really quick. Okay, like, do I even need to say anything about Spike? We already know Spike is the best brawler in Brawl Stars. For the Legendary, at least. Like, look at this, insane. And then, like, you could even attack behind the walls with this absolute menace. Crazy. Like, one of my favorite brawlers in Brawl Stars ever since I started this game. Okay, so now we're going to count our final category, the chromatics, okay? One, One two, two, three, four, four. and then let's move on to the ones that it is lock. Five, Five six, six, seven, seven eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 14 15. 15. Okay, so there are a lot of these brothers. Okay. So, we already know there's a bunch of support brawlers here, so we can move those ones out. So, let's find the support brawlers here. Damage dealer, assassin, tank, damage dealer, gale. Oh, wait. Looks like there are actually no support brawlers for chromatics. Okay, let's start off with the ones that I unlocked, Surge. He's one of the oldest chromatics in Brawl Stars. I'm pretty sure he's from Season 3. So, that's crazy. So... Yeah, so he has pretty good attacks. The problem with Surge is that if you die with Surge, you restart on all of his super attacks. So if you don't die, he's great, but there's a high chance that someone um, attacks you with Surge. Colonel Ruffs. He's one of the newer brawls, uh, brawlers from Chromatic section. He's pretty good when he was not nerfed, but now that he's nerfed, he's really bad. Same thing with Belle. Lola's actually an interesting case. She has a really good attack, and I feel like her super's really good, so we'll keep her for the next round. Okay, on to all of these brawlers. Okay, Buster and Sam automatic and Janet automatic and um otis automatically make it to the next round because they just came out so they're not really that nerfed yet eve she was good while it lasted i guess her only pro is flying on water so nothing great so buzz he's a close-up brawler nothing too good against long-range brawlers unless he gets a super ash is a good tank but he's really only good with other brawlers next to him gale He's a great brawler, too, but his only good thing is he's super is really good, but his attack, eh. Cola, only long range brawler, can't really do anything great. Lou, um, it's a good brawler. I guess super is decent, not great compared to the rest. And finally, let's see Fang. Fang, she's okay, but not compared to the rest. Okay, now we're moving on to Sam, Buster, Janet, Otis, Lola. Okay, we're going to start off with Lola compared to the rest of them. For now, Lola is not better than them because they just came out. And I feel like even in general, they're way better. Okay, so let's move on. Starting off with Janet. So Janet, her super is Crescendo, as you can see. And she can fly attacking enemies while they can't attack her. And attack is pretty good too. It's actually pretty similar to, what's his name? Buster's. But I feel like Buster's super is better even though their attack is similar. Because Buster, let's try him out here. Okay, trading grounds, like always. 
Okay, so like almost the exact same attack as Janet. So look at this. So while Janet can attack people, while well, they can attack, Buster outdoes her and repels, and whenever he wants, he can attack them. So that's just like, come on, guys. Okay, so that already beats Otis, too, because Otis is not even better than Janet. Finally, it's Buster against Sam. Let's try out Sam. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Okay, yeah, we got his powers. So he unlocks, like, a suitcase kind of thing, and then you could get it back. That's actually really cool. And then he automatically gets a super. And with a gadget, he, could, he doesn't even need to attack to unlock a super. So, like, this is really cool. He automatically keeps on getting a super. That's one of the most fascinating things I found about Sam. But compared to Buster, who repels attacks, this is nothing. <laughs> all right, so there you have it, folks. We have all of the best brawlers in their rarity. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Make sure to sub, share this to all of your friends, and like the video. And, co and comment your username so I can pay you at in the group. I'll leave a link in the description. All right. See ya.